right, welcome to another episode of My Point Three Garage. Today, we are frying a turkey for Thanksgiving in front of a Bronco. So we thought we'd at least show you how to fry a turkey if you haven't already. This is gonna be fast. First, go to any outdoor store and you can get a 30 quart turkey fryer for about 40 to $70. We picked this one up for about $70. Then, make sure it's 30 quart. You're gonna need a 20 pound propane tank. Now we've already done one turkey in here, but we wanted to show you in these pots, there actually is an oil mark. Do not go just by that oil mark. The best way to do it, fill the 30 quart aluminum pot to that mark with water, then put your turkey in. Uh, don't heat it up, just put your turkey in to make sure the water comes almost to the top of the turkey, probably about an inch from the top of the turkey. If that happens, then you are good to go. Uh, pull the turkey out, dump the water, refill the pot back with oil to that same mark, and heat it up to about 300 degrees, and then it's time to put your turkey in. So we're gonna get started on that. Then you're gonna take your turkey, and you're going to inject it with Zatarain's Cajun Injector. The best is the Creole butter for turkey. Trust me on this. They have a lot of flavors, you can try them, but the Creole turkey is gonna be the best. So make sure you pick up one can of this and it actually comes with an injector. Then come over and inject your turkey in multiple different spots. You're probably going to use on a 20 pound turkey, you're going to use about half a bottle for a 20 pound turkey. But if you can get more in there, get as much as you can in there. And then let it sit for about 20 to 30 minutes before you fry it. The next part is you're going to take the hanger which comes with the fryer and you're going to run it through the bottom of the turkey all the way up through the top and this is what you're gonna pull it in and out of the fryer with. The legs on this one are already tied together, but you wanna make sure that you tie your legs together on the turkey uh, with either uh, some uh, baker's twine or some wire so that, the, so that it pulls it together in the bottom of the fryer. Then the last thing you're gonna need, you're gonna need a couple of gloves that are gonna be good for hot oil just in case it splashes up on you. Uh, you're not gonna put the turkey in all at once. You're going to make sure that you're wearing gloves. The biggest part of this is make sure that your turkey is completely thawed out. Do not put a frozen turkey in the fryer or it's going to look like every meme on YouTube. All right, now we have our oil in the pot. It's to the level that we tested it with the water so we know that it's not going to overflow, which is the biggest part of this. And we've got our thermometer in there as well. We want to get the oil up to about 300 uh, before we put the turkey in. And then we're gonna cook it at 350 and it's three and a half minutes per pound is about average. So the only thing you have to do now is light it and go. So we're gonna, we're gonna open the propane. Okay, turn on the timer. These, almost all of these come with 15 minute timers. And the reason why they do that is so you don't walk away from it because obviously you could catch fire. And make sure you're doing this outside uh, so that you don't have a cover on just in case something bad happens and then lastly Make sure you have a fire extinguisher close just in case But as long as you keep the oil level below the turkey and you don't put in a frozen turkey of a thawed turkey You're gonna be fine. So now there's a button right here We're gonna stick our lighter underneath there. I'm gonna hit the lighter There we go and we're gonna get this up to 300 degrees and then we're gonna put our turkey in. Something that I do that, it doesn't come with a wind deflector, and we don't have any wind right now, but the first turkey we did today, uh, there was a lot of wind, so I built a wind deflector out of uh, tin foil, and that's what the tin foil is. Yours probably will not come with tin foil. All right, we're gonna pull our thermostat, our thermometer out. We're at 300 degrees, and we're just gonna slowly drop the turkey in there. Very slow. Very slow. Just like that. Now we're going to put a cover on it, some kind of a lid, but still keep it vented because all of the water vapors are coming out of the top here. Uh, so you don't want that to roll back in. So we're just going to leave it just like that. 
You see the oil level is about four inches below the top, which is perfect. Uh, the oil is over the top of the turkey. And now we're gonna run it to 350 degrees, three and a half minutes per pound. And then lastly, we're gonna stick our thermometer back in the oil. This is for the oil, just to make sure that we're running the oil temperature correctly and then we're not getting the oil too hot. All right, so this is a 20 pound turkey. It's been right at about an hour and five minutes uh, for a bigger turkey. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this out. And I'm gonna test two areas. I'm gonna test the thigh. Put it right down on the thigh and you should be hitting about 170 degrees at the thigh. Right at about 175 at the thigh. And then just to make sure, I'm gonna go into the breast here. Right at about 170 in the breast. So this turkey is done. We're gonna go ahead and pull it out. All right, grab yourself a pan with a foil liner in it. Drop this right down inside this uh, pan. And that's a wrap for Mop Point 3 Garage. That's cooking turkeys in front of a Bronco, Colorado style. You guys are gonna enjoy this. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Thank you for being part of our lives. We'll see you next week.